Welcome to Bark House and Nature Bites. Today I'm actually at Bon Ferrex Glen Park here in Brown County to talk about the rocks behind me that this really cool waterfall are flowing over in this area it's commonly called the Niagara Escarpment. So an escarpment is a long steep slope that has two different heights of land on either side. So it's basically like a cliff. And so the Niagara Escarpment for us here in Wisconsin starts in the southeastern part of the state, worked, works its way up along like the eastern side of Lake Winnebago, through Brown and Door County, the Upper Peninsula of Michigan, Ontario, Canada, and eventually over into New York by Niagara Falls, hence the name Niagara Escarpment. And it's not like a continuous cliff. There are some broken sections, and sometimes you can see it like here, and sometimes you don't. And so to try to visualize how this is, is one way to kind of think about it, think about these rocks behind me is like pizza dough, okay? And you got your countertop and you got a ball of pizza dough and I push down that pizza dough and I got the crust right here. Well, the edge of the crust, that's your escarpment, that cliff edge. And then these rocks, these rocks right behind me are gonna dip down under Lake Michigan, so let's call that the sauce and cheese. And eventually, just like a pizza, on the other side you're gonna have the crust edge, that escarpment, and that's over in Niagara Falls. So it's one way to kind of think about it. So these rocks were formed over 400 million years ago during the Silurian period and were a result of being underneath the ancient sea. And these are sedimentary rocks. So what that means is that these rocks are formed by different sediments being deposited over time. And those sediments can be rocks or it can be sand, it can be um, shells of animals that died, um, died, and those accumulate over time to form these rocks. And these rocks, if they're not a limestone, it's very similar to limestone, it's actually a dolostone. It's a very similar to limestone again, but has a little bit different properties to it. It has more magnesium in it, but it's very similar to a limestone, but it's called dolostone. So it's a Silurian dolostone. Again, the Silurian is the time period these rocks were formed. And it's a pretty hard rock compared to the rock below it. So the rock layer below this is an Ordovician shale, which is a very it's softer rock. It's more easily eroded away, so washed away. So what that all means is that you get these really dramatic geological features. We get waterfalls like this. We have a stone arch here, one of the few in the state of Wisconsin, in fact. You get some really cool cliff faces where rock, um, sections of the rock are breaking off, like at Bayshore County Park. So because you have the Ordovician Shale, which is a softer rock below this harder rock, this cap, if you will, of Silurian Dolestone, you get these really cool rock features to check out. And once in a while, when you look at these rocks, you're going to see these weird little rock blobs. These like they're actually called chert nodules, little round blobs, if you will. And chert is basically microcrystalline quartz. So a way to think about that, we've seen kind of big quartz crystals, really dramatic. Well, if you took that quartz crystal and you smashed it into microscopic pieces, and you put them all together in a random fashion, that's a chert nodule. It's basically microcrystal, like really small uh, microscopic quartz crystals randomly oriented together. And that's what a chert nodule is. And flint is actually a type of chert. So flint's commonly used for a lot of tools many years ago, and that's basically a type of chert. So again, Niagara Escarpment, a lot of cool things to talk about this. There's more I want to get into in some future videos, but right now this is a really cool geological feature, a privilege to be able to see here in the eastern part of the Wisconsin. So next time you're out and about and you see the sedimentary rock and you're really just inspired by it and you're in awe of it, it's an amazing feature, you're not the only one getting sedimental. Thanks for watching Bark House Nature Bites.